Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. Welcome to my shit show. So, I hope everyone is having a great day. Thank you so much for tuning on in. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe, become a channel member. So, we're going to be diving back into the gypsy rose of it all. Y'all have been l telling me some tea, okay? So, it led me, you know, gave me some breadcrumbs to follow. One of you guys mentioned that there was another creator who also has Munchausen by proxy or was a victim of it right the munchausen by proxy is what gypsy's mom had right it's still a little bit confusing every now and then or what she allegedly had because the thing is most of the time people with munchausen by proxy don't get diagnosed or treated for it you know it, usually they die or they end up in prison before any of that happens but i mean well usually munchausen by proxy results in the victim passing so you know what really can be done from there but this kate marie who she's no longer on social media because gypsy her family and gypsy's flock of fans all went and bullied her off just for trying to spread awareness about munchausen by proxy since she is a survivor as well she even had a perfectly healthy leg amputated because of her mother so like it sounds like she has a story to tell as well but Gypsy is kind of like so hard set on being the representation for this disease and or disorder, I guess. So she won't listen to anyone else on it. And she and her fans and her family, that's the part that seems the ickiest is that her family is joining in on it to bash this one creator into silence so that Gypsy can remain the, you know, most prominent voice on the issue. But this story i don't quite understand it i guess i'm having trouble deciphering what gypsy has typed herself because obviously she wouldn't be giving support for kate marie the one doing it and then say hashtag cancel the bully influencer or is this a screenshot i don't know keep your face always toward the sunshine and shadows will fall behind you i mean i guess girl and i don't know gypsy's music is very like top 40s you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, so that's the first part of this. We can dive into the more of the Kate Marie story. It's going to be mostly TikToks because that's where all the drama unfolded. But yeah, okay. So with that, let's go into the next thing. I just have a few different posts I want to look at, all kind of pertaining to different things. So this is Gypsy's, uh, whatchamacallit, <laughs> Instagram. I'm such an old man. And this is an interview that she did. Gypsy Rose Blanchard doesn't want her baby to be on TV, which I don't know. So her explanation for everything, I find it to be very ironic. We'll get into it, but I just want you guys to hear what she has to say first. Be another docu series down the road. Will the cameras I continue to roll? <laughs> I don't know yet. Um, that's you never know what the future holds with that. But once the baby's born. I really feel strongly that I don't want my baby to be in front of a camera um, unless it's for like home movies. I will not be. See, I can respect that opinion. I can because I'm not going to lie. I had a little bit of doubt within me being like, oh, God, is she going to go the mommy YouTuber route? But I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Right. Because I think Gypsy's. Not necessarily desperation. I think it's a learned desperation. She has so many traits that she picked up from her mom that I don't think she's worked through yet. And I think this interview is a prime example of that. Just watch. Putting my child in the media at all. Why? I don't... This world is so cruel and unsafe that there is a level of responsibility that I have to make sure that my child is protected. Now, we can take that as like a loving mother and whatnot. My thing is, 
that was her mom's exact reasoning for why she was so protective of Gypsy. Do you see what I'm getting at? Like, it seems real iffy for me that she's going and giving the exact same narrative and she's going to instill a paranoia and a fear in this child that the world is an oh so horrible place. And I mean, of course it can be, but I don't know. It just, it doesn't seem healthy, in my opinion, to have that mindset that, you know, yes, you have to protect your child, but I don't know. It's just, it's the fact that we've heard her mother say those things, and now it's, you know, Gypsy repeating it 10 years or so after her mom's death. It's raising a little bit of alarms for me, I'm not gonna lie to you. And then this post, I thought it was really sweet at first, I'm not gonna lie. She's just kind of celebrating the developing pregnancy and whatnot, even though I thought like, well, damn, it's still a little bit early for that much, ain't it? She's going to be big then by the time she reaches nine months. But the comments, y'all, oh my god, the freaking comments sent me. Also, I feel like we just need to address it because it is a part of the gypsy conversation right now. Multiple men are coming forward in Gypsy's open public comments, which I think is messy, telling her that they've seen Ken on a certain dating app. I find it so highly inappropriate that creators and mostly like people on TikTok, I'll be honest. I don't know why they think it's appropriate to even be discussing a man's sexuality. Um, I... It just, it's, I know it's going to sound dramatic, but it sickens me, honestly. For all intents and purposes, like, other than being with Gypsy Rose, he's not really an influencer, you know? He's not even active like Ryan was, or it still is, on social media. So, like, yeah, you know, it's... It's just messy, it's gross, and I don't think it's appropriate to speculate on people's sexualities. That's why, like, even though I have my doubts pertaining to Amber Lynn, I don't voice it too, too much. I really don't, because it's not appropriate. It isn't, you know? Um, And especially, like, living in the Deep South where they live, they're down in Louisiana, okay? It's not safe for everyone, and outing someone in the comments it just it feels gross it really does and those people could have messaged gypsy as well they didn't need to go into the comments so we're not going to discuss those comments and we're probably going to cut it right when those pop up but the comments are funny you are literally 30 seconds pregnant (laughs) girl that's a fupa yo i was not expecting this energy when i opened them up Honey, that's not a baby bump. That's a fupa. These comments are so sad. Let women enjoy their pregnancies. I mean, I didn't even think, like, oh, fupa when I first saw it. I did think, like, eh, it seems a bit early for that much. But, you know, every woman's different. Not by trying to be rude, Gypsy, but I was already there. (laughs) Yo, yeah. I'm freaking dying. I mean, she was kind of like a skinny thing. Not the skinniest, but she was small once she got out of prison. I I mean, it makes sense. You know, you get out, you'd probably put on a little bit of weight, probably, you know? Handpicked by their grandma in heaven. Jesus. That's rough. I think that's your fupa. At 11 weeks? No, girly. See, that's what I'm thinking. It's, it seems very early for this, right? Girl, that's fupa. Me after Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Sorry, Amber. Gypsy deleted her Instagram and has just recently reactivated it. These comments are giving me better insight on why she may have deleted it to begin with. If you have nothing nice to say to her, keep scrolling and leave this woman to her pregnancy in peace. She deserves to be happy. Let her enjoy this moment. I mean, people weren't being mean for no reason out of nowhere, you know? I think, especially like if you pay attention to the individual social medias, a toxic side of Gypsy has already been shown, you know? And she had so much support in the beginning. Like, you know, I think people just, people glamorized her and turned her into this like celebrity figure, but like, She was in prison, you guys. (laughs) She still did bad things. And, like, yeah, she might have been the victim in it, but she still did bad things. 
you know, she turned someone else into a victim as well by, you know, I don't think that um, that John kid would have, I mean, obviously he wouldn't have done it unless she asked him to. So, I mean, he still made the choice to do it. I'm not saying that, but it was controlled by Gypsy. He's sitting in prison for life. It's just, it's so fishy to me. It really is. I'm not going to lie. I still have a lot of empathy for Gypsy. I just want her to get help. Go see Despicable Me. All right. Sound up. Is Gypsy getting high? You can hear the lighter sparking up. And this is while she's pregnant, y'all. I told you it was going to be a bunch of different things. But, like, that's crazy. That's crazy if she's actually, like, smoking while pregnant. I don't know. I don't know. And I think also Gypsy needs to be careful because if we remember, she herself has admitted she was highly, highly addicted to painkillers. And at a very young age, too. She started taking those when she was still with her mom. And she would just pop them, like, all day, every day. So, it's it's messy. It, and I think it's more so, like, it's a slippery slope. And I just want her to be careful, you know? She has to really think about this child now. Or, <laughs> come on. Oh, God, my hair looks terrible. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I just... I mean, sure, they're cute. They're cute. It also seems very much like high school-ish, doesn't it? Set it up! Set it up! When is Gypsy due? January 22nd. See? You can hear it. You can hear the lighter flicking in the background here. I got one right next to me. Right? Sounds like it. Or like a little flick, like... Like, she's trying to be quiet about it. Why don't we live together? Because she's on parole. She can't live with me, technically. What? Why? But she was living with Ryan, right? Like, that doesn't make much sense to me. She visits a lot. <laughs> yeah, we are, we are going to the movies dressed like this. So what? <laughs> yeah, we are, we are going. So... I don't know, you guys. I don't know. What do we think? We're going to take more looks, like, later on in the week at some more of her YouTube videos, and I'll try to dive more specifically into the Kate Marie thing. But, yeah. Yeah. It's interesting, ain't it? There's a lot of little facets, because this girl is putting her entire life on the internet, okay? If it's not through the TV show, it's through YouTube. If it's not through YouTube, it's through Instagram. If it's not through Instagram... It's through TikTok or TikTok Live. And then also, the people around her are also putting themselves out onto social media. I mean, we saw Ken there. He, it's not as much as, like, Ryan, but, like, I don't know. I don't know. The fact that both of her relationships have played into the social media aspect of it just seems a little weird to me. It seems a little weird, you know? If I was seeing someone, like, consistently, consistently, if they didn't have anything to do with my channel in any type of way, then I'm not going to, like, mix them into it, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But, yeah. So, what are our thoughts, guys, on Jip Jip here? I think it'll be interesting, you know? We just got to kind of wait and see where things lead. But, I don't know. I think she's just trying to focus on, like, having a real life, you know, for once. And I a thousand percent get that. Um, I just wish that, you know, she were more open about her guide to recovery. But, yeah. Thank you so, so much for tuning on in, you guys. I truly do appreciate you. And I hope you're staying cool out there. It's, like, over 100 degrees today. Freaking terrible. But, yeah. Thank you so, so much. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe. Become a channel member. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.